Hello everyone and welcome to this very special Sunday, Mothering Sunday or Mother's Day. Mothering Sunday, a day when we honour our mothers and our mother churches. We celebrate this special day here in the United Kingdom and around the world to give thanks and praise for the very good things our mothers, grandparents, carers and all who care for us do over the year and have always done. So welcome if you are joining us for the very first time and welcome if you are also one of our young members who we are always happy to have with us. Please, there are resources in the website, so please access them and um, make use of them. You're all very welcome indeed. Well, the Lord be with you. So let us prepare for worship as we sing our opening hymn. Let us prepare for worship as we sit together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be an advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through deliberate fault, 
we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Mothering Sunday. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow, we may know the power of your presence to bring together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which Indeed, you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the world of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude. In your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do anything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. This is the word of, the, of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross were Jesus' mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside the disciple, he loved, he said to her, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to this disciple, Here is your mother. And from then on, this disciple took her into his own. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Today it is Mothering Sunday. We say thank you to God for our mothers. This year, Mothering Sunday will feel very different as we cannot meet together for our usual Sunday Eucharist and receive our usual bunch of daffodils. 
when the coronavirus, with the coronavirus still among us, and the need for social distancing, many mothers, many families today will not be able to be with each other and particularly with their children and grandchildren. This week, I spent some time with an elderly family friend on the phone. Amongst other things, we discussed the importance of spending time with people who provide us with a sense of security and stability. People who can minister to us and in a very real sense, mother us. I emphasize mother us. We both felt that in difficult, unpredictable and difficult times, such as we have now, there is, necess there is necessity for the good of our own souls. We all need to be encouraged, nurtured, and at times gently challenged. We all need to be mothered. And so Mothering Sunday, as distinct from what has evolved to be Mother's Day, I hasten to say, reminds us of all that is good and necessary about the concept of mothering. It, is, it also reminds us that we need to allow ourselves to be mothered. And this implies accepting our own weaknesses, brittle vulnerability and need to be both loved and nurtured. There is nothing wrong with this. In fact, I think owning and offering our own vulnerability and weaknesses is the essence of that highly spiritual quality we hear about in the Sermon on the Mount and in today's reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians, meekness. Mothering Sunday is so called because it was the day midway through Lent when domestic staff and servants were given the day off so they could do two things. Firstly, return to their mother church and spend time with their family. The underlying and important message being that it is vitally important for our own sense of well-being that we spend time in places and with people who give us that all-important sense of stability and who feed and nourish us. Mothering is at heart about doing this. Secondly, mothering's concern is insane, whatever else is going on in your life. However, much the ground beneath your feet seems to be shifting. I am here for you. I am here to cherish you, support you, strengthen you, and stand in solidarity with you. Today's readings, my friends, paint an attractive picture of mothering. Just listen again to the virtue virtues and Paul lists in his letter to the Colossians. Compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, forgiveness and love. Patience, forgiveness and love. St. Paul's, St. Paul insists that when these virtues are offered and accepted, everything is bound to work together in perfect harmony. We all need to find people and places where compassion, kindness, meekness, patience, forgiveness, love and the guiding and animating virtues, for only then can we be truly mothered. But we need to go further 
and commit ourselves to becoming active agents of these virtues, both individually and as a community. For only then, only then can, be, can we be good neighbours and only then can we truly become a mother church. Our Mothering Sunday Challenge is simply this, to become a truly Christ-like mother church, a truly Christ-like mother church. To do so, we need to open ourselves up in prayer to the work of the Holy Spirit, asking that the fruits of the Spirit ripens within us. Mary is the icon of all that is good in the concept of mothering. The Gospel reading makes this clear. Mary is to be found at the foot of the cross, watching her son being crucified. It is a horrific and sad image indeed. Mary, no doubt, is utterly confused, bewildered, and bewildered. She doesn't as yet know that she will soon see her son, our Lord, again. And yet, and yet she is just there for her son. A rock of stability. She is the only permanent in his life and she is there for him at the hour of his need, at the hour of his pain, at the hour of his need, at the time of his pain, at the time of his rejection. She is there, permanent, stable, faithful, and always loving. If I had to use a word to describe the values that Mary embodies, it would be holiness, which is of course an embodiment of Christianity. So we need this Mothering Sunday to let Mary's story inspire us and challenge us are we faithful and stable to our friends, family and neighbours when especially when the very ground beneath their feet seems to be shifting? Is the church always faithful, stable around us, especially when all around us seems uncertain and when our best efforts seems to go unrewarded? There are the hard mothering questions and they are ours to answers. So finally, this mothering day, let us be grateful to all who have mothered us and let us recommit to becoming a truly all loving, perfect and harmonious mother church. We need to do so both for our own sakes and for the sake of the world around us. So on this Mothering Sunday, we thank God for our Mother Church, we thank God for our blessed mothers and for all those who have played a part in our lives and continue to do so, for our grandparents, our teachers, our godparents, our elderly friends and good friends, and for all whom we love and respect and who share all we do in our lives. Have a blessed Mothering Sunday. Amen. So let us affirm our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, 
taken the form of a slave. He has was he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, <clears throat> let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, we bring to you in our prayers today all whom we love, for your family and our friends and our neighbours. Help us all to live so that we may strengthen and enrich the life of the family. Help us to build with you the kind of family which welcomes the stranger, the lonely and the needy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this Mothering Sunday, we give thanks for mothers and those who have been like a mother to us, for all they have done for us. And we pray that the love they show us may be reflected in the way that we show our love for others. We remember those who are without their mother, for those without a child, for whom today is a difficult time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember that whilst we celebrate and give thanks today, there are those for whom each day is difficult. For those who are sick, remembering those on our intercessions list. Those who are sad, lonely, or away from their families in these times of COVID. Those families where there's conflict, anger, and tears. Heavenly Father, we place each of them into your gentle hands that they may know the, the comforts, reconciliation, and peace which your love brings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those whose hearts are saddened by the death of someone close and dear to them. Be them, be with them, give them your strength and peace. <clears throat> For those who have died, Lauren Smith, Anna Haban, June Voina, Roy Wilson, John Dalton, Jennifer D. And as the anniversary of their death, Colin Henry Dennis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So let us offer one another a sign of peace on this great and special Mothering Sunday. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son, for in these 40 days you lead us into the deserts of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again, through fasting, prayer and acts of service. You bring us back to your generous heart through the study of your holy word. You open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendor of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with the saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember now the, his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for the coming of his kingdom, we make with this bread and this cup the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Accept through him, our great high priest, this is a sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your Holy Spirit and nourish us with the body and blood of Christ, that we may grow into his likeness and become a living temple to your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us thy peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to suffer. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord. Trust in your own righteousness, but in your manifold and great masses. We are not worthy so much as to gather up crumbs on your table. But you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son Jesus Christ and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by, your, by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. <clears throat> the body of Christ, give me eternal life. Amen. Blood of Christ. Let us say together the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. God of love, holy and strong, draw near to all who need your care and protection this day. Watch over them and those we love and keep us faithful to your word all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Holy Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you, thank you all for joining in this morning. Again, on this very special day, I thank you all for joining here for this Mothering Sunday service. I want to hope that um, you all will have a very blessed and joyous day as we celebrate our mothers, we celebrate our grandparents, our carers, our nurturers, and all who play a part in our life. We thank God again for all they do for us and standing there and loving us. Um, so please have a lovely day. The church is still shut, but very soon we will be making further an, um, announcement uh, about reopening. Please continue to use your Live Lens booklets, the, the, whole, the, um, the, the, the booklets especially for this Lent season. Um, if you need to discuss, please don't, do not hesitate to get in touch with myself or Marion. And also, if you need to discuss anything at all, you have our phone numbers, please give us a call. Once again, have a lovely 
Mothering Sunday. So please bow your heads for the blessing. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and all those whom you love, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.